The modern fuel injector is in charge of providing a measured amount of fuel to the engine. Its internal construction is composed of a wire coil, the return spring, pintle, and the body casing. The coil creates the magnetic field. The spring returns the pintle to its closed position. These two components, although simple, are very important. If the spring is weak, the injector waveform closed hump will show up late. If the pintle channel is clogged, the open waveform current hump will also show up on the waveform. The oscilloscope test is the fastest way to determine a possible injector problem. Use the ATP Scope 1 to capture the waveform and analyze it. Don't forget to finalize your measurements with an actual manual injector leak down procedure. All fuel injectors have two pins and are permanently connected to battery power through a relay. The ECM or the ignition switch may actuate the relay. On a Dodge, the ECM actuates the ASD relay, which feeds the injectors. The other side of the injector is connected to the ECM, which provides a pulsing ground to the injector. The rule of thumb is, at idle, a 3.5 to 5.9 millisecond pulse is seen. The general shape of the injector waveform is also very important. A fast way to test the ECM injector circuit or driver is to connect a small dome lamp bulb to the injector circuit. Most injectors will draw about one amp of current, and so does the lamp. If a flashing lamp is seen, then at least you have some current available. A resistance test is good to know if a unit is in open circuit, but not reliable to determine if the injector is operating correctly. To test the power feed side, rig a headlamp which draws about 6 amps and connect between battery negative and injector power feed. With key on, engine off, you should see a bright headlight. This verifies proper power feed. If you get an OVD2 injector open code P0200 to P0212, do as follows. The ECM always monitors the injector wire. 12 volts flow from the battery to the relay and through the injector. It then returns through the injector coil to the ECM wire. If 12 volts is not present at the ECM wire, then it knows that either the connector is disconnected, the wire is broken, or the injector coil is also broken. Either way, this is called an open circuit, which is why the ECM issues an OVD to open circuit code. So, injector open means that the return voltage is missing.